Are you preparing to launch your website and want to create a sense of urgency among your visitors? One way to do this is by adding a countdown timer to your landing page. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create a landing page with a countdown timer using Elementor. In this tutorial, we will also use Elementor's Flexbox containers. This is a new way of how Elementor organizes and lays out web pages replacing their current system of sections, columns, and inner sections. To enable the Flexbox containers, go to Elementor, and then click on Settings, select the Features tab, and you will see here Flexbox container. Make sure that it is set to Active. And at the bottom part, just click Save Changes. To get started, let's go to Dashboard and we will create a new page. So go to Pages and then Add New. Let's name it Countdown. And then hit Published and Published again. So now we will go to the Elementor Live Editor. So click this one, Edit with Elementor. And then the first thing we need to do is to edit the page layout. Since in this page, we don't need a header and a footer, then let's edit the page layout by going here at the bottom part that says Settings. Click the gear icon. And then you will see there Page Layout. Select Elementor Canvas which now gives us an empty page for us to work on. And as you can see here, there's already the new widget of Elementor, which is the container. So let us now build the page. First, we will drop a container here in our canvas. And then let's edit the layout of the container. For the content width, we set that to full width. For the mean height, Let's change it to VH and then set the value to 100. For the items, justify content, let's set that to center. And for align items, let's set that to center as well. Then let's go to the style tab, the second one. First, for the background type, let's choose here the classic. Then let's insert a background image to our page. So in the image, let's click choose image. And then let's select a background image for our page. So for example, let's select this one. And then click the select button. For the image size, set that to full. Position, center, center. Attachment, let's set that to default. Repeat, no repeat. And then display size should be cover. And then let's update this one and see the changes that we have made. So there, we already put up a background image to our page. Now, let's add up contents to our page. Let's go to the widgets and we will insert here first a, an image. Okay, so we will select an image and then let's choose the logo of our website. Now, it is best to select an image with a transparent background or the pictures that are PNG. So let's click this one, for example, and then hit select. And for the image size, let's set that to full, then center. And then next, let's go back to the widgets. And then let's add here text editor at the bottom of the image. 
Now, we will add uh, some contents for our page. So, change the content here. And then on the style, let's uh, just change some style for this one. Since our background image is dark, then we'll use here white. Then center the alignment. We will also change the typography. So change the font family depending on the font that you want. And then you may also want to change the weight and other styles and decorations. So we would also want to add some padding on each side of our text here. So to do that, go to advanced. And then on the padding, let's add up here on the right and left. Let's put say 200 on each side. And then we will add another widget which is now the HTML. This will now house our code for our countdown timer. So this is the HTML, CSS, and the JavaScript code that we need to insert on the HTML widget for the countdown timer to work. The CSS styles the appearance of the countdown timer, while the JavaScript codes here calculates the time remaining until the target date specified in the code and also it updates the countdown timer accordingly. And when the countdown timer reaches zero, the script will redirect to a specified URL. So in this code, we will just change two lines. First one is this one, line 88, the countdown date. So I choose the date May 12, 2023 at 12 noon and this date follows the Eastern time. So if you want to change the time zone, just edit the GMT here and then also edit the time. And then the second code is this one line 104. When the timer reaches zero, then I would like to redirect the page to this link. So again, you only need two lines here, this one and this one. So we may now copy all of this code and then paste it here. And that will now create the countdown timer for our page. And then we will add up another widget. So let's add a heading at the bottom part of our countdown timer and let's change the text to we are coming soon. Also let's change the color by going to style tab and then for the text color, let's change it to white. And then we may adjust the size of the text. I'm going to make it bigger. So 50 is good and the weight is also good. So let's add up another widget, the text editor. So we will place it at the bottom of the we are coming soon text. So let's add another content about our website. And then style, again, this should be white, centered, and the padding, let's put another padding, go to advanced, and then for the right, set that to 200 pixels, same as to the left. And then we may also want to add social media icons and links to our countdown page. So to do that, go to the widgets and then search for the social icons. So add here at the bottom. So we may add here Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and other social media platforms that we like. So let's say we will add TikTok. So let's just duplicate this one and then select the icon for TikTok. So click here 
in the icon library and search for the TikTok icon. So it is in the Fun Awesome Brands. So click TikTok and then insert. And then we would like to change the style for these icons. So the shape, let's select circle. And then let's move to the styles tab. For the colors, let's change that to custom. So for the primary color, we like it to be we like it to be light gray or white, something like that. And then for the secondary color, we want it to be black. And then for the size of the icon, so let's change that to uh, 30 is good. And then we may want to adjust the spacing in between the icons. So you can adjust the spacing here. And if you want to put padding, let's adjust the value. Say 0, 0 0.5 is good. And then once done, click update. And then let's hit preview. Okay, so our site looks good now last thing we need to do is to create an overlay so that the contents of the page will be emphasized more so let's go back to the elementor live editor and then let's select our container go to styles and background overlay Let's add here a background type. So select classic. And then let's add a background color. Let's choose black. There. And then for the opacity, let's increase the opacity. Let's say 0 0.8. Okay, so you can see here that the text or the contents of the page is more emphasize so once that is good and then let's click update and we are done so this is how it looks like when your timer ends and reaches zero three two one And that's it! You have successfully created a landing page with a countdown timer using Elementor. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more Elementor tutorials.